I'm normally on a bike. Well, at least I have been for the last decade. And when I would arrive at a location, I formed what I call the nest. I would splay out all my devices and try to charge all of them as quickly as possible. I didn't have the joy of a Blue Eddy. I couldn't carry it on my bike, it was a bit too heavy. So for people with the capability of having a Blue Eddy, I wanted to do a nest test. I'm gonna to try to charge everything in front of me on this device at one time. Now before I get started, I do wanna tell you that Blue Eddy sent me this device for me to have and for me to test. So this is sort of a sponsored video. I won't accept products that I won't be using on the road. As a matter of fact, I was looking for something like this and the planets aligned. And so this was the perfect marriage of a good product put to use at the right time and the right guy to, uh, to test it out. So let's put to, to use the Nest test and see if we can charge all of this stuff at the same time. It will solve my nesting problem that I normally had where I was using plugs all around the hotel rooms or hotels I was staying at or the lobbies or the guest houses and I was basically adopting everybody's outlet in the entire area in order to charge my stuff. But in this case, let's see if one Blue Eddy can do the job. All right, so first things first, the basics. I am always using my laptop, and I'm gonna put it in a place where I can use all of the other plugs. So here we go, power up this section, and I love that sound. Next up, the phone. Now this is probably, honestly, my most popular device, then the computer, but either or, put it on top, that starts charging. The next item that we're gonna connect is this Luna USB powered fan. And we're gonna use a traditional USB port for this. Put it on top and all right, next up, let's get the drone in here. Probably my third uh, most popular charge. I wanna make sure I always have my three batteries ready to go for whatever I might throw at them. Now, these are charged from an outlet. So let's lay this guy out. Let's use the outlet right underneath the uh, computer power block. A battery off the drone. And then my two spare batteries here and here. And don't forget the controller. Always gotta power the controller. We will use the USB on the back of the uh, power block. All right, what's next? Well, my camera's always consuming batteries because I'm always shooting vlogs. So let's hook up my battery charger. We'll use the other USB traditional outlet here and we will plop in two of my dead batteries. Now I wanna use this 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter outlet. So what I'm gonna use that for is my Garmin GPS. So we'll just put that on over here in the corner and then I will plug it into 12 volt outlet. All right, let's finish using these USB C's. So I'm going to use this USB C to USB C cable, and I am going to charge my Insta One 360 X2. Take off the uh, protective cover here, plug in, and here we go. I'll put that right by the laptop. For my final USB-C, I'll use the Osmo Action, which I really like this camera. This is my dashboard camera that I use when I am uh, driving down the road because I can see the uh, backside really clearly and even the front side. So let's charge that up. Okay, so I'm out of USB outlets, but I still have two power outlets. Let's find a couple of things for that. I am lucky enough to have a USB splitter. This is one of my favorite things I travel with. It's a very capable and very small splitter and the prongs just flip right out when you need it. So I'm gonna plug this above that jack there. So now let's populate this uh, power bank. I have a Osmo Mobile 5. This is the newest one. Actually, this is pretty cool. I haven't even started to use it yet. It just came in, but it actually elongates 
so you can use an extension pole that's built into the gimbal so that you can get some cool mobile shots on your phone. That uses USB-C. We will put it in the bottom plug on the power, power splitter here. Plug it into the unit here. Charging. If I want to have a little gimbal, I have my Osmo Pocket. This thing is great for walking around being inconspicuous. You can put this in your pocket and carry it around, but you get some really, really nice fluid shots. We'll go ahead and plug that in the second slot. USB-C. Next up, uh, GoPro Hero, which one is this? Eight. <laughs> There's so many heroes. Every time I buy one of these, the newest one comes out. The, the 10 is now out, so it's, it's two levels ahead of this one, so I don't have the front-facing screen, but this is a very useful tool if you're doing underwater stuff or you're gonna be out in the rain. Um, so I always try to have a hero around. So let's plug that into the third slot on my power bank. Here we go. And then last for the USB outlets, I have this uh, bowling vlogger uh, light. This thing's really cool because it cycles through all sorts of different colors. So you can do all sorts of interesting backgrounds. I'll probably use this a lot in the van. So it's gonna run out of power eventually and I'm gonna have to charge it. So I will use the final plug here on the USB-C and charge it up. This is actually a small kettle that I saw in a video by Christine Schaefer, who has a beautiful, beautiful setup uh, van life van, and I've been following her for some time. Christine, thank you so much for the idea. I will put this to a lot of good use to make some coffee and tea. The cool thing about this is it actually retracts down. I'll link to the video that Christine shot that inspired me to get this kettle. I'll put that out in front, and then I will plug it in. And there we go. I could hear the, the fan kick on to cool the battery, but we have everything powered up. We are charging it all. All right, guys. Well, I think that's a pretty good test. This uh, power bank is going to provide me a lot of flexibility when I'm on the road. It's gonna alleviate a lot of ills and being able to charge everything I have um, overnight without having to swap plugs or, or babysit is gonna be really, really nice. You're gonna hear a lot more about this Blue Eddy, but I figured I'd make a dedicated video because it just arrived. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be using it a lot in the next month as I travel around and do my North American Van Life Industry Tour, which you're gonna hear more about. If you have any questions about it, you let me know. I'll leave links to uh, the Blue Eddy in the description below as well. If you're thinking about getting anybody a, a gift, I gotta imagine that any traveler, anybody going out and uh, doing stuff on the road, uh, unplugged, will love to have this so that even when they're unplugged, they can plug in to something. Thanks a lot, guys. Like, subscribe, share, comment, Jayo. Leave a comment in the description. Do you have one of these? Do you like it? Any any thoughts on it? Pretty cool. Blue Eddie. Jayo.